Okay, guys. Now let us talk about freight or, or what it means: fluorescence resonance energy transfer. What do we mean by this fluorescent resonance energy transfer or freight? Is it's a technique of determining whether two proteins in a cell are interacting with each other or not. So as we know, there are other techniques out there which uh, we can also use to know whether two proteins are interacting. But this is an example of experimental setup that will uh, tell us uh, uh, the interaction of two proteins. And uh, the interesting thing about this type of uh, mechanism is that uh, in this in this type of uh, technique uh, we can actually see we can actually observe uh, the proteins interacting so not in the molecular level but we can o observe the fluorescent image uh, fluorescent dye that is tagged with those proteins okay for example now let us take uh, uh, talk about these two proteins one is protein x another one is the protein y so the property of protein x and y is a little bit different so if we excite protein x with violet light it will emit blue light and if we excite protein y with blue light it will emit green light as a fluorescence so normally if we start our uh, excitation journey using violet light in a sample where we have both protein X and protein Y then we can see only blue light will be uh, emitted via the protein X but no light is emitted by this protein Y because in the solution what happens uh, if these proteins are separate apart if they are not interacting with each other they are separated apart then what happens uh, this protein X will take violet light it will excite and it will emit this uh, blue light but there is this blue light intensity is not enough uh, to excite this protein Y to emit green light so that's why uh, no green light emission can be observed only the blue light emission can be seen now think about the second scenario so this is the scenario I have talked about the no protein interaction we only see the blue light out no green light is out in this situation because the protein X and protein Y in the solution are separate uh, placed in separate directions so placed in separate regions and they are separated apart in uh, in many distances okay now let's think about the second scenario if the protein X and Y are interacting with each other if they can interact after the interaction what happens the same scenario we add violet light but what happens the violet light excites uh, this blue protein X to emit blue light but when as in this case this mm, protein X and Y as they are in close proximity then this protein Y uh, can emit uh, ca can be excited by the emitted light which is coming from protein X which is in this case is a blue light so as we know if blue light comes in then this protein Y will emit green light so what happens green light uh, so protein Y is uh, em exciting by the emission light of protein X which is blue and it, it emits green light out so it's a chain of reaction as we can see now in this case after adding the violet light we are not seeing the blue light we are seeing the green light out okay so in this case we can determine whether the proteins are interacting or not if the proteins are not interacting then we can only get this blue light emission but if the proteins are interacting with each other then you can find this green light now a question can arise in your mind that uh, as soon as we start to uh, or as soon as the proteins start to interact with each other whether we can find green light or not the answer is no in the first place when the proteins are start to interact with each other they are starting to interact with each other we find uh, in first places we find the blue light out but after some time when the proteins are interacting with each other really really hard then we can find this green light instead of this blue lights okay so that's how uh, this pro this kind of emission technique uh, will help us uh, to understand whether two proteins are interacting or not that's why the name uh, came from is a fluorescent uh, freight that means uh, uh, fluorescence resonance energy transfer so this fluorescence energy is transferred from one protein to another protein and we can see it. now for for uh, applying this technique we must tag our uh, protein of interest with fluorescent dye 
and uh, not with the same type of fluorescent dye because if it emits same type of light then this mechanism will not work this technique will not work because remember the principle of the technique is depend on the type of fluorescence we using we are using and the type of their interaction